Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today, we're talking about and tasting a brand new bottle from the Michter's Distillery. This is the 2022 Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. America. Michter's Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. It's a limited release, so you know it's good. This particular bottle is 113.6 proof. Distilled in small batches according to the Michter's pre-revolutionary war quality standards dating back to 1753. I bet that's the case. This is barrel number 22B270. 22 meaning the year 2022. The B is big because you know you'll be spending big bucks on this. And 270, 270. That's approaching my BMI. We are proud to offer this special release of our Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Rye. After full maturation, each individual charred white oak barrel of this U.S. one rye is bottled at its particular strength. This single barrel rye has been mellowed by our signature filtration. Wonder what that means. Coffee filters. HEPA filters. I was lucky enough to get my hands on two of these bottles this year. Some of my favorite people in Florida gave me an assist on one. And this one I ran into at a store locally here in Colorado. I chose to open this one because it's slightly higher proof. Does that make me a proofy bugger? Or a proof nut hugger? Either way. I just figured open the higher proof one, so that's what I did. Out of the way, bottles. Your friend is coming through. Don't tip over. Do not tip over. It's pretty close to tipping over. No sudden movements. That would be a catastrophe. Okay. Definitely a rye whiskey. Wow. Crumble cake. Like a coffee cake of some kind? Like if you made blueberry coffee cake out of rye bread. Getting some freaking blueberries on here. It's been a while since I've got a good blueberry on the nose, but blueberries. Fresh picked, cold, organic blueberries inside of a muffin. Muffin is a fun word to say. Say it with me and get a giggle. One, two, three. Muffin. It smells really good, it smells really nice. The rye is kind of like hiding behind the sweetness, but it's there. 2022 Michter's Barrel Strength Rye, down the hatch. Oh. Huh. Hmm, okay. First sip of whiskey for the day. Always enjoyable, unless of course it's not, in which case, should have drank something else first. All right, okay. This bottle was opened like maybe a month ago. Maybe a month ago I opened this bottle, had one little tiny sip out of it, and I was like, I don't think I like that. I do not think I like it. It had a funky little flavor in there that I couldn't quite put my tiny little finger on, and I wasn't exactly a fan of it, and I was like, this is not going to make me happy. Therefore, didn't review it until tonight. But tonight's the night. First sip, I think that flavor is still there, but I don't think it's as prominent as it was before. Also, pretty complex bugger. First sip was a pretty curvy road. It's like a winding road of complex flavors and animal crossings. But the first sip doesn't tell the whole story. The first sip is just like the dedication page in a Judy Bloom novel. Second sip. It's oily. It's thick. It's nice and thick. What in the heck does this remind me of? Oh, it reminds me of one of those red, green, white, and brown candy canes from Christmas. That's kind of what that reminds me of. If those things were also chock full of alcohol, virtually identical, you could say. The flavor I was initially unhappy with, with my first pour of this about a month ago, 
I'm not tasting it. I'm not tasting it. I don't know what I was so mad at. This is why it's important to not review a bottle as soon as you open it. That's what I'm saying. Even though I do that sometimes. Sometimes it's just better to come back to it. Sometimes it's just better to sit back, let it do its thing, and by do its thing, I mean sit there and think about itself and think about what it did. And then when you come back to it, you ask it for an apology. You ask it if it knows what it did, and it says yes, and then you ask it to tell you what it did so that it's not lying and it actually did think about it. Because if it can't tell you what it did wrong, then they didn't think about it at all. Am I wrong? So what did you do wrong? You bad bitch. Oh, you tasted a little bit weird at first? And you're sorry about that? Okay, good. The baked goods and blueberry and stuff I got on the nose didn't transfer to the palate so much. Not really. That kind of disappeared, actually. Even going back to the nose now, it's gone. It's not there anymore. And that kind of sucks. It was good while it lasted. That's what she said. I would say that Michter's Barrel Strength Rye is a great rye whiskey. Michter's Limited Release 2022 Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey receives a score from me tonight of... It's an 8.4? 8.4? It's a great rye whiskey. I'm not afraid to say it. I actually really enjoy this one. Come to find out. I like you. I like you a lot. Just like that, there goes another review. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on just doing the dishes before you go to bed. Just do the dishes before you go to bed. You know, clean up a little. Clean up after yourself, you disgusting pig. And by you, I'm talking about me. <sighs> Unfortunately, Sometimes I leave a mess at night and then I wake up in the morning and guess what is a bad thing to wake up to? A mess. You wake up in the morning after hitting snooze six times. You roll out of bed and onto the floor. You scramble to your feet super slowly. You maneuver yourself down the stairs and into the kitchen. And if it's spick and span, then your day will be bitching. If it's a mess, then guess what? Stress. Stress immediately. No sippy cups for milk. Dirty pizza cutter for your 7 a.m. morning pizza. Ice cream scoop reminding you how naughty you were last night. The remnants of bagel bites. And the lone Glencairn sitting there with evaporated bourbon in the bottom. Reminding you how awesome bourbon is. Just clean it up at night. And then go to bed knowing that you'll wake up alright. That's just a good piece of advice. I don't care who knows it. And suck on that sons of bitches whatever i love you all have a good night subscribe to the channel or meet your demise sorry i just said it so it's gonna better subscribe get better